Hey, the YouTube is going to 73, making another episode of Knife Talk, and today we're going to be talking about lockup. Now, first off, I'm going to say that I'm stealing this idea from J. Davis 882. Uh, I say that, you know, with humor. I'm not really stealing anything, but he did a video. His video is more about the shape of the uh, tang on a knife. Like, uh, one example he showed was the military, how you can see how the tang of that knife is a very aggressive. Um, it's ramped for wear. I'm. I think his video is great, and you guys should go check it out. But um, this video is going to be slightly different. I'm basically going to be talking about the difference between like early and late lockup on a folding knife. What's what are the advantages and disadvantages, and a lot of arguments I see either way. Now, one in particular here is the Chris Reeves Sabenza. This knife tends to lock up on the later side. And by a later side and percentages and whatnot, I'm referring to that, um, you can see the lock bar right here, how it moves. Um, if this locking lo bar were to touch the other side, like touch this scale, it would be at 100%. Or it would actually be over, but if it's fully engaging the tang, then it's 100%. Now this is close, but you can still see that there's a lot of room relatively, you know, between the uh, the frame and the tang. This knife has years left on it, so I mean, the thing is with most most good frame and liner locks, they'll sort of find a sweet spot and then just settle in right there, and they'll they won't move for a long time. Like an example is my military here. Another good example. So liner lock, and um, when I got it, this was just that liner was just engaging the end of the tang. It was like right there. And now you can see that um, it's about halfway, and it hasn't moved since I got it. I mean, and it's been, I got this in February, so basically from then to like, I mean, the first couple weeks, it moved from like very early engagement to right where it is now, and it hasn't moved since, and I've been opening and closing it and using it a lot, so most, like I say, most just sort of find a sweet spot and stay there, which is kind of interesting, but cool at the same time. Now the advantages to early and late lockup are that most people will say, well, if a knife has early lockup, then it has more, it'll have a longer life because it'll take a longer time for that liner or frame to move across the, uh, the blade tang. And that's true. The other side of the coin is that if it's earlier, arguably it's not going to be as strong as a lockup that's deeper. So you can see on this, um, this O350 has nearly, I mean, full engagement of the liner. That liner is pretty thick, and it's right underneath that blade. You can see it's the full liner has engaged, but there's still room. So, I mean, this is some pretty solid lockup on this knife in this term. You know, there's no up and down play on it. And, um, this is all right lockup. I'm perfectly fine with something like that. Um, for a liner lock, I mean, if it's around, if it's less than like 20, either of any of these, if they're less than 25%, I'd worry, just because that's almost too early. If it's between, or if it's over, I should say, like 75, it's like 80, 90, 95%, that's almost too late for me if I'm getting a new knife. But if it's an older knife, that's perfectly acceptable. So you can see on this Kershaw tilt, this knife has not moved at all since I got it. I've been flipping it a lot, so that's very good. It's pretty much right from the factory. That's where it stayed. It hasn't moved at all. It's interesting because every one of these other ones has moved a little bit. Since I got it, minus the Sabenza, these two moved a lot. But uh, this one has not moved. It's rock solid right where it was in the factory. I'm not sure why because titanium is softer than steel, so it'll wear it way quicker, but it also galls or sticks so it goes both ways so basically to wrap it up if you have an early lockup knife or a knife that's like from 25 or under 25 to no it's a sander 50 percent if you're right there then you know the light the knife will last longer than its later lockup counterpart but it may not be the uh, strongest lockup because it has less room to move before being disengaged if your knife has later lockup, more than 50%, they say 75 or 80, 
it's probably nearing the end of its life, but not in all cases. Sometimes that's just where they settle. Um, really, I mean, the only time you have to worry about lockup is when the knife gets blade play, up and down blade play. If it's side to side, you can usually tighten it out, but if it's up and down play and it's really, really late or touching, if this was touching this scale and the knife had blade play, then I'd be concerned, but I'm not concerned right now, and most, not most, some companies like Chris Reeve will, you know, they'll uh, tune the knife back up once it's, uh, it gets all the way over, so that's nice. But not all companies do that. Like, Spyderco probably wouldn't. So, thanks for watching, guys. That was another episode of Knife Talk. I appreciate the views. Requests are welcome. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.